welcome back. Sorry it's been so long since I've shared a fishing trip with you guys. I don't really have any good excuses, but we're back out here on the water together again today. It's uh, the week before Thanksgiving, 75 degrees outside. The water temperature has just got down below 70. It's at 66 degrees. I drove by the lake today and saw there's literally nobody out here. We got, I don't know, 10 or 12 trucks at the boat ramp, but I thought, man, there's no reason not to be out there, so let's get out there and do some fishing. I had a, um, a running race this morning, so it's 12.45 already before I've got out on the water, but we'll do an afternoon fish and see what we can come up with. Hopefully I can catch some fish for you guys to enjoy, and um, we'll see what happens. Well, we're right back on Lake Conroe, catching these itty bitty ones. <laughs> he's a pretty little fish. Man, he's cold. He is so cold. Get back out there. I threw the spinnerbait around for a little while. I uh, just got no bites on it, no nothing. So I start searching with my old Cinco, just like always. It's my always, my, always my fallback. I swear, I think that some days I should just not take it with me at all to force myself to get more confident with fishing other things, but I just can't bring myself to do it. I know no matter what, there's no way I'm going to go home skunked if I bring a Cinco with me, and, and I just can't go without that. I, I would rather catch one little bitty 10 inch fish like that on my Cinco in a typical place than go home skunked fighting all day trying to catch them on something different. Um, Man, I got so excited. Threw a Cinco in there, finally found it. I, I threw a Texas rig with a little bit of weight on it in there, and I finally found my little piece of structure that I always catch fish on. Um, so I threw a Cinco back in there and just was slowly pulling it over that, you know, kind of shaking it over it. And just got hammered, but it was, it, you could just tell it wasn't, what, it wasn't a bass like what you wanted it to be. I've had this happen to me before over here, catching these stinking catfish. But at least I can say, at least I can still say I always catch something over here, even if it was a little catfish. But I'm not done, I'm gonna go back in there. Just because I caught that catfish don't mean there won't be a big bass sitting in there. At least now I know where my, my structure is and it was right where I had it marked on my fish finder, so that's a good thing. wants to come by and show off to us, I guess. There he 
There's really nowhere for him to open it up out over here. All this over here to my right is 20 foot deep with trees sticking up out of it. The further you go that way, the more of that there is. Sounds awesome though. Makes me want to go work on a race car. Well, it's been a struggle. I haven't caught anything else all afternoon. The sun's starting to set on me over here. It's about behind the trees. It's starting to cool off. Uh, so I'm heading back towards the boat ramp. Uh, this north side of the bank here has got a bunch of grass flats in it. So I'm gonna throw a chatter bait in some of that and, and a finesse bait in some of the structure that I know that's there. It's kind of my last ditch effort on the way in. So hopefully I can come up with something. I've I've just about pulled from this wishing well too many times. Turn around from the other side, drug bait back across. I think I got a little better one. I don't think he's that big, but he's a little better. And he's a fighter though. Definitely can tell this one's a bass though. And there's another one right behind him. But better guy. He's pretty cold too. Hey, he's only 17 inches long. Pretty little fish though. Same spot. I'm gonna try going back across there again.